Welcome to the Jill on Money Call of the Week. We are presented by Marcus by Goldman Sachs. This is your opportunity to tap into our collective brains, both me and Mark. I'm a certified financial planner, just re-upped, by the way, got my new card in the mail, so I'm feeling good about that. And if we uh, can help you out, we'd love to do so. Just send an email, askjill at jillonmoney.com, askjill at jillonmoney.com. That's what Joel did. He's on the line. He's calling from Atlanta. Welcome to the program, Joel. What can I do for you? Hey, thanks. It's uh, good good to chat with you. Hey, so... Um My uh, wife and I are trying to figure out how to leverage uh, some additional retirement uh, vehicles, Um, and we're kind of looking into something that I'm just learning about called after-tax 401k and have have some questions about that. Sure. So tell me a little bit about yourselves. How old are you? So uh, we are 55, and uh, let's see, empty nesters, um, no debt, zero debt, Make about uh, two hundred, two twenty, or something a year. Yep. And uh, max out our four hundred one ks. Can't do the raw, Can't do any IRAs. Right. Um, and uh, so yeah. So so now uh, you know. And, and I've got uh, I've got about three hundred fifty in retirement. Um, you know, uh, mutual funds. I've got about uh, three hundred in cash, and the house is about three fifty, something like that. So overall. Net worth about a million or something. Got it. Um, and so, yeah, just just looking at trying to figure out how I can save some more. And 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 one of the things I was looking at was this after tax four hundred one k. Right. And um, what I was reading about it, and I just <laughs> wanted to double check was, uh, you know, you put money in after tax, and then when you leave your employer. You can uh, turn that or or roll that over to a Roth IRA, and then it becomes completely tax redistributions. Is that make yeah. sense? Just yeah. want to double check. So, so first of all, let me just ask one quick question. You said three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Is that all in four hundred one k's, or do you also have some IRAs floating around? Uh, yeah, only eighty of it's in uh, in four hundred one k, and the rest is in IRA. Okay, got it. Okay, so. Yes, there is a way that you can take after-tax retirement contributions and you can actually end up pushing those after-tax contributions into a Roth after retirement. However, and this is your big however, Joel, it is a little bit of a paper fiasco. You've got to have a trail here because what the IRS is often want to do is when you retire – they may erroneously combine all of these accounts and roll it into one IRA rollover account, at which point you're going to get screwed because you're going to be because the whole thing is going to be treated as a pre-tax direct rollover. That's mm. the problem that the, the biggest problem that we have. So here is my question to you. I don't know. Do you work at a big company? Uh, it's yeah, billion dollar company. Okay. Yeah. Do they happen to allow for? In service, um, this is what's going to be weird. It's called a, a mega Roth. Do they allow for you to pull money out year d- while you're still in service once a year? Yeah, they do not. So, okay. yeah, I, I looked into that uh, to see, hey, can I pull this out while I'm still yeah. here? The answer, short answer is no. Hold on. Marks wants to talk to me. Yeah, we want to make sure that's a good question. Mark wants to make sure that the the after-tax 401k is not actually a Roth 401k contribution. Is that correct? This is just that, a, that, right? That is correct. Okay. It is not a Roth IRA yeah. 401. Got it, got not, it. not a Roth 401. And they don't have a Roth 401 option. They, they do. Yeah, they have a Roth 401 and, and then they've got the uh, the pre-tax 401. So why, why are we making ourselves crazy? Why don't you just put all of your contributions into the... Roth 401k. Okay, I'm learning something. I, I was under the impression anything with four letters that had the word Roth in oh, it, I Oh, you are so, I'm so glad you called. Here is <laughs> one of the coolest things about Roth 401ks. They are not subject to the same income limitation rules that a Roth IRA is subject to. Oh, so, I like this. Yeah, right? So here's the cool thing. Your Joel... You make too much money. I can't do a Roth. You even, it's like it would be a pain in the neck for you even to do a backdoor Roth because you already have IRA assets. But when you make a contribution into a Roth 401k, there is no 
income test on being able to contribute to it. So you, at age 55, can put your $19,000 plus $6,000. Is it 195 or Yeah, it's 195. Yeah. 19. I think it's going to go up to 195 next year. And plus your $6,000 because you're over the age of 50. And you can make that one fat Roth 401k contribution. Then you don't have to worry about any of this. Then what you're doing is you're basically saying to the IRS, I will pay the money that is due on my my taxes right now. I'm going to put that money into a Roth 401k. Then when you retire, you're going to have two different accounts. You're going to have the pre-tax 401k, the Roth 401k. They're going to be it's much easier to do this when you have a Roth option. And then when you retire, your Roth 401k, you're going to roll it into a Roth IRA. And when you retire, you're going to take the pre-tax and roll it into your traditional IRA. And all that money is separated and that money will have been taxed and you will be brilliant. Uh Aha. Makes sense. Fantastic. Uh, uh, Where where do I send my uh, money to you for this? uh, this, this I'll tell you what you do. What you do is you basically be very clear and you say, okay, I'm going to now tell everybody to listen to this podcast. (laughs) You know, holidays are coming up. Just buy my book for all of your friends and relatives and you'll, you'll, that's payback enough. There you go. All right. do that, Jill. All right, Joel. Good luck. Thank you so much. Very helpful. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, that's the call of the week. If you have a financial question, just give us a holler. Send an email to askjill at jillonmoney.com or go to the website, jillonmoney.com. You can click the contact us button right there. Oh, by the way, while you're there, sign up for our free newsletter. It's free. Why not? We drop new episodes of Jill on Money every Tuesday and Thursday, and you can download the show anywhere that you get your podcasts. Apple, Google Play, Radio.com, Stitcher, wherever. Our music is composed by Joel Goodman. Mark Talercio is our executive producer. We're distributed by Cadence 13, and our show is presented by Marcus by Goldman Sachs. See you next week. 